If the PR is malignant or maroon in color, or the patient has coffee ground vomiting, it is most likely UG. If it's fresh blood mixed with stool, or fresh blood with blood clot, or fresh blood flowing stool, it is more likely LG. But of course, if the UG is very severe, you can get fresh blood in stool also. So let us start with UG. When cutting a case, it's always nice to have in mind of the common causes of the disease. So for UG, it will be gastric ulcer, esophageal viruses, maroon waste. After you understand the situation, how long the patient has been having blackish stool, or how much how often since the patient is vomiting blood or coffee ground, we start asking the special question we only ask a UG patient. Does the patient has a history of gastritis? Any OGDS done and what is its finding? Does the patient has hepatitis? Think about esophageal viruses. And does the patient abuse painkiller? Happens so much with patients with joint pains. And of course, if the patient is on aspirin or buffering. And you palpate the abdomen and do a PR. Burn investigation, FBC, correct GSH, and make sure the patient has two large bowel branula. So for UG patient, we start IV nexium infusion 8 mg per hour for 72 hours, followed by IV nexium 40 mgbd. We can MBM the patients and plan for emergency OGDS. Give the patients an IV drip and PR the patient every day. Monitor the HP twice per day and KIV transfusion if indicated. Think about transaminic acid and vitamin K. Basically, the patient is going to be in work a few days and be a stale melina factory. You need to be alarmed, however, when the patient is with fresh melina or have coffee ground vomiting. It means the patient has fresh bleed. And now, LG. LG can be caused by GI malignancy, bleeding diverticulitis, polyps, IBD, protitis, and hemorrhoid. Ask history directed to these causes. Constitutional syndrome, change in bowel habit. Is it painful during the bleed? And for radiation proctitis, history of radiotherapy. Or examination, PR the patient. And then do a proctoscopy to look for hemorrhoid. Caution though, even if the hemorrhoid is seen, it may not be the smoking gun. I've had a patient that has two huge hemorrhoids. We all thought that was the cause of the bleed. Specialist walking, prop around, radiation proctitis. LG is a self-limiting disease. Unlike in UG where OGDS can be therapeutic, colonoscopy has no therapeutic role but only a diagnostic one. Still, we might do an OGDS coming morning to route UG and for colonoscopy later once the bleeding stops. You can't see nothing with the power full of blood anyways. So KMBM, OGDS, IV nexial infusions, IV drip, DDPR, colonoscopy later once bleeding stops, IV transcendamine acid, sometimes you give vitamin K, monitor HB, KIV for transcription if indicated. Caution though, just because LG is self-limiting doesn't mean that it can't be severe. Patients with LG can bleed and bleed and bleed and transfuse pints and pints of blood until it finally stops. In GIB patient, monitor HB is very important. We have a houseman that missed a PM blood and the FBC coming morning. When the next PM blood come back, the HB is 4.6. The patient collapsed before he is able to be transfused. Recognizing PR finding is also very important. If you are unable to recognize a fresh marina when you see one, you are unable to be alarmed by it and take appropriate action. One night a houseman on call was notified by staff nurse that the patient is having massive fresh marina. In the dim light, it looks brownish and he didn't recognize it was fresh marina. Blood was not transfused in time, the patient passed away 2 hours later. It is important to know your shit. 